Task modules can be invoked from a custom tab in Microsoft Teams from anywhere using a deep link and from bots. But task modules offer developers a way to collect user input with a bot as well and keep everyone in the channel from seeing what other users are doing. So in this uh, section, you're gonna learn how to use task modules with bots in Microsoft Teams, how to process task module submissions in bots, and how to develop bots with task modules. I'm gonna skip this slide. So far throughout this module, you've learned how to create task modules as HTML web pages and adaptive cards, and you've learned how to use the task modules from tabs as well as invoking them using Microsoft Teams support for deep links. And another way that you can use task modules is from bots. Bots present a unique challenge in that there's no user interface to interact with a bot. Rather, all communication is typically done using conversations. Microsoft's bot framework and the Microsoft Teams SDKs have added support for not only invoking task modules, but also to handle the action.submit event in the case where task modules are submit information back to the bot. So let's talk about invoking task modules from bots. Now recall from our previous conversations, the process for invoking a task module is to call the submit task method on the Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK. This method won't work when invoking the task module from the bot because the bot's code is running as a web service external to Microsoft Teams. Instead, you have two options for invoking a task module from a bot. One option is to use a deep link that is included in the message posted to the Conversations tab in Microsoft Teams by the bot. When a user selects this link, it will invoke the task module. The other option is to send a special type of a message to the bot framework and therefore to Microsoft Teams. And this can be sent from a card action or from the bot itself. To create the message, set the button's type to invoke. The value type property of the button should be set to task slash fetch or action.submit if you're using an adaptive card. When the user selects the button, it will send an HTTP POST invoke message to the bot, and the Microsoft Teams SDK automatically processes all of the invoke messages and directs them to one of two handlers. Either the handle Teams task module fetch is gonna be called when the value.type property of the message is a task uh, fetch, or the handle Teams task module submit is called when the value type property is task slash submit. Both of these methods return an object of type task module response. And this object tells Microsoft Teams to either display a message, which is a type colon message, or to display another task module, which is type colon continue. The details of the response, either as a message or a task module are included in the value property of the returned object. So for example, as you see here on the slide, the following response from either of the two handlers to display a task module message, either where the type equals message or the type is continue uh, for to add in or to show another task module. 